I am Dr. Arnachalam, Senior Consultant and Aid at the Department of Pulmonary Medicine, Etharth Hospital Sector 110. Today I will be discussing about obstructive sleep apnea. We all know people used to snore at night. Is all snoring normal? No. Every snoring is not normal because there is an entity called obstructive sleep apnea. What is obstructive sleep apnea? Obstructive sleep apnea is cessation of breathing. What is that? Stopping of breathing for more than 10 seconds at night during sleep is called as OSA. So what are all the risk factors for OSA? Whenever a patient is obese, male gender, more than 50 years of age and patients have short neck, these are all the risk factors for OSA. And what we should do in a case of OSA? What are the symptoms of the patient of OSA? Patients have snoring at night and apart from that, they have excessive daytime sleepiness. They have headache, they have irritability, they have depression, lack of concentration. And if it doesn't treat OSA, what happens? If it doesn't treat OSA, we patients have a risk factor of developing coronary artery disease, cerebral vascular accident, increased chance of developing diabetes mellitus, and patients might have a refractory hypertension. So it is very, very essential to diagnose OSA. How it is get diagnosed? It is very simple. It is diagnosed by a sleep study called as polysomnography and it can be managed very easily. So my sincere advice is whenever any of your relative or friends snore with other symptoms such as headache, irritability and tiredness in the morning, it is essential to get tested. Thank you.